my people on ado see uh, the other day i traveled to ikeduru and uh, that road used to be eh i don't know used to be very bad in those days if you are going to ikeduru that I should have taken maybe 20 minutes for you to get to ikeduru from Owerwe. you know in those days it normally take more than you know one hour self you know and sometimes you know you stuck on uh, you know, on a pond, you know, pond, we just hold your motor. And you people drive out, we kick motor, you make quack, 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 no way. Quack, 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 no way. You know? And then the passengers sometimes will be looking for any available vehicle that will, that will be, you know, heading to where they are going. And then they will have to abandon the driver there, you know, and the driver will have to suffer it. But today is a different, uh, thing all together. When I traveled to Ikedru, I saw that the road, you know, was very, very smooth. You know, the road is very, very smooth, you know, from Owere to Ikedru. You know, so any good thing, you know, that the government uh, do. But although we don't need to praise them because that is why they are there, it really makes me cry when our people, uh, like I said that that road now is good, is better, uh, at least it's better now than in those days. It, it pains my heart. You know, it pains me so much that well, as that road is, now people will be praising, the, hey, the, the government has done this, the government has done that. Before Uncle, what are they supposed to be doing for their people? I don't really know. So it is people that, you know, because all this, your presidency, your this, your that, it's only in Nigeria I hear that. You know, we, yes, we know they are what, we know whom they are, but giving them that kind of praises, eh, it makes, it's like when you are over pampering a baby, you know, the baby will just be jumping and without knowing that uh, by jumping, the baby can even hurt himself or even break his, his or her legs. So that is exactly what our people do. They continue to pamper these people, praise them, Your Excellency. I know that that's Your Excellency, Your Honorable. That people are saying it for those people that are, you know, uh, for our leaders to recognize with them, to see them, and uh, that they are helping them, uh, so that if there's anything, they can help them, uh, you know, either in the monetary aspect of it or otherwise. You understand? But it is their duty, you know, to do what necessary things for the citizens, not for only those that help them with uh, your excellency, your honorable, and so on. Every citizen in Nigeria needs to live a better life, okay? Whether the road or water or any other thing, even electricity, you know, it is our right to have it in our own country, okay? In advanced countries, People do pay tax, and from that tax they pay, they always get the dividends of that tax they pay. But it's not like that in Nigeria. So I pray that even as now is a new a time that people are going to vote, to, you know, to vote for a new leader, I pray that people will open their eyes to vote for those who they know will give us the right thing that people are supposed to have in their own country. People that they will vote and things will be okay and nobody will be suffering, okay? And then those that, you know, that will be fathers and mothers to the masses. Not those that will acquire people here and there. No, not those that will not even regard people, okay? In, um, like in other countries, we know that people owe people. Yes, if you are a human being, you are owned by government. It is only in Nigeria where I see that individuals, human beings, are not owned by uh, the government because the kind of treatment people receive here is not something to talk about. I'm telling you, every human being needs, you know, to live. Okay, it's our right to live, as long as God lives. So, and it is our right that the, all the hospitals should be fixed. You see, eh? Hmm. My people, if you are sick here in Nigeria, if you are sick, just pray to God that you not get sick. Oh. Like if you are sick and the, you cannot walk, there's no ambulance. So oh. 
Even if there is ambulance, we are, through which road will the ambulance pass to take the person to the hospital? <laughs> now there the person goes to take me. So all these things need to be, you know, fixed. So let us pray for a better change. Let us pray for a better Nigeria. Our country is good, but the problem comes from leadership. I pray that the good Lord, you know, will see Nigerians through. Okay? We have no power of our own, but our power is on the Lord. And I know that he will make a better choice for us all in Jesus' name. So, how do you see the video? I hope you love the, the vlog. You know, the market vlog, because this time, this is February, and it's time for Odara. And uh, in Chichi, do you know what is called in Chichi? My people, what is in Chichi called in English? And what is Odara called in English too? Is Odara apple? Is it yellow apple? Or what do we call Odara in English? Please let me know. <laughs> On I know say, Baba, don't go to school. <laughs> Mama knows our school, though. So, Udara, are we going to call it yellow apple or what? And then Chichi, what are we going to call in Chichi in English? So, let me know in the comment section if you know. You know, say, it's good to ask something when you don't know it. Ask. Maybe there are those that know it and they will let you know. So, that is what I, I just did, do. Let me know. Okay. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you have done that, thank you very much. If, and if you have not, please subscribe, share, and comment. Okay, my people? And if you just came across my video for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, and comment. Until my next video, this is Mama Egwe saying bye. So enjoy the rest of the vlog, my people. I love you all.